Hey, what's happening? Thanks for checking out my video. So today I am in Barcelona, Spain, and I'm trying to keep up with my a little bit of a keto, low carb diet. So I went to a little fresh market right down the street and picked these up for lunch. And so check this out. So basically like some, some, some already cut sausage here. It's basically like pork, um, like a chorizo, <laughs> really, really good. And, uh, at 1.71 euro, that's like a dollar ninety. This cheese, um, maybe that's about a dollar forty. So less than four bucks, and uh, it's re really cool actually too. I'll just show where I'm staying at. Awesome little condo here. It's uh, actually a three bedroom place. Um, pretty big for the size here. For like eighty bucks a night, I get some friends coming into town later that are staying for a little while. And Barcelona is just a great city, and. There's actually this right over here is like a big fresh market with just lots of different vendors with fresh meats, fresh vegetables, fruit, whatever, even uh, bread, just whatever you want to say. Like it's just basically uh, just a really cool open marketplace for people, for all kind of vendors and everything, even like clothing and snacks and stuff, just whatever you can think. And so anyway, um, picked this stuff up less than four bucks. Now, I've already done two different uh, pieces with this cheese and ate about half of this package, which was uh, pretty filling. I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to diet a little bit, so not bad for less than $4 to have a nice little diet lunch. And this stuff is just really, really good. If I can get it to focus on there. Come on. Ah! Anyway, um, trust me when I say that this stuff is just... Awesome. I'm packed with flavor. Mm. Just a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy, just perfect enough. By the way, too, at least for Barcelona, I can say that you can totally drink the tap water here. I've been drinking it for days, no problem. That certainly saves you some money when you're trying to travel and be a little bit thrifty. Figure out if you can drink the local tap water. Now, definitely don't just assume that you can. Even if you're traveling to Flint, Michigan <laughs> in America, you can't assume that you can drink the tap water. Um, but totally fine here in Barcelona, and that will save you a lot of money when you're traveling. Um, save up your money for better things like nice beer or wine or good uh, chorizo or jamón. So uh, anyway, what I thought I'd do on this video is just also uh, help explain if you don't understand how to look at nutritional values in Spanish. It's really, really very easy and simple. Um, so first of all, this is showing you the price by weight, for, by a kilogram, thousand grams. And this is showing you the net weight, peso. So peso is like weight, net is just, netto is just net. So that's net weight is 0 0.128 kilograms. Keep in mind too, everything is reversed a lot of the ways in uh, Spanish than it is in English, especially for the Euro. So that is how we would look at a dot and, and they use a comma instead. Same thing for the price. So that is one euro and 71 of a euro. So it's like a dollar 71. If you, you know, imagine that would be a dot in, in normal uh, English, right? Instead of the comma. So just realize that's reverse. So that's 1.71 euro, which is like a dollar 90 or something like that. And again, the cheese, that's 1.3 euro. So it's like a dollar 40 or something like that. Um, anyway. What does the rest of this mean? Well, uh, information, nutrition now, uh, nutrition now. So that's basically nutrition, inf nutritional information, valor, medio por hundred grams. Valor means the value, medio is medium, poor is the, like, basically the word for. So this is value, medium for hundred grams, is how that literally would translate, or basically the average nutritional value for 100 grams. Now again, this is of a kilogram. If it was 1,000 grams, that's what a kilo means. That would be 1,000. Well, this is 0 0.128. So that is 128 grams. So these values are about 28% more higher in this whole entire package of what we're doing. And I've eaten about half of it or whatever. So take that as it will. Um, val valor intergetico. Well, that's basically the Energetic value is how that literally translates. That's your calories, right? So they break that down. So I've eaten about half of this. Imagine again, it's 1.28. 
So that's really about, let's just even call it 500 calories. I've eaten about half of this, which is 200. Um, it's not really showing the value here on the cheese. They don't have to show value on everything. Obviously it came out of a deli essentially. Um, so imagine I would say these, these two little slices of cheese each. So I had four little slices. I don't know, maybe another 100 calories or so. So about a 350 calorie meal that I've had. Uh, Grasas is fat. So de las colas is saturated fat. So de las colas is basically of which is what that means. So of the fat in saturated, you can even kind of figure that's probably means saturated fat, right? So you, you know, you've looked at plenty of nutritional values on uh, English packages before, you know they show saturated fat as well. So Adelis Kulas, and I'm saying that I'm sure wrong, saturatus, saturated fat, right? 17 grams. Hydratos de carbono. Well, carbono means carbon. Hydratos is basically like hydrating, right? So what do you think that means? Maybe carbohydrates, right? That's exactly what that means. So there's only two grams of carbohydrates, which totally makes sense because it is basically a meat product. It also therefore totally makes sense that there's a lot more fat, uh, but again, keto type of diet. So again, then de los cuales azucras. So azucar is sugar. And again, you see this on common nutritional information packaging of the carbohydrates, how much of it is coming from sugar? Well, of which sugar, one gram. Again, pretty typical with something like this as they're curing the meat or whatever, they're probably using some kind of brine that has a little bit of a sugar in it or something of that nature. Okay, uh, proteinous, what do you think that means? Obviously it means protein. And of course you could look it up easy enough. And of course that makes sense that it'd be 27 grams of protein in a product like this because it's mostly meat. And sal, sal is salt. Um, so 3.5 grams of salt. Again, I'm adding this a little multiplier up on that because of the packaging, then dividing it by two because I'm eating it twice. So uh, anyway, just thought I would share that. It's very easy and simple. If you're going to uh, any kind of any country that is using uh, Spanish as the main language, or pretty much any of the other what they call Romance languages, French, Italian, any of those, it's going to be very, very similar. And you can kind of figure it out for yourself, right? Saturadas, that's not hard to figure that, well, that's saturated. Um, carbono and hydratos, that doesn't, that's not a far stretch to figure out carbohydrates, protein, it's, it's, et cetera. So um, it's kind of fun and interesting, I think, to learn these other languages and try food in different places. And that's a super affordable lunch. You know, regular lunch anywhere else, you know, probably, you're probably spending 10 euros, which would be around 11 or $12 plus, you know, a tax and everything else. When you can easily go into a little market, especially if you're on a low carb diet, pick some of this stuff up. I'm going to get two lunches out of this thing. So basically less than $2 per lunch and a couple of glasses of local tap water. That's traveling cheap. And if you find a low carb keto type diet healthy, that's traveling cheap and healthy. Um, now, if you, I probably will get suckered into a big chocolate bar later or something like that and completely mess up my diet because they do have lots of good sweets and stuff around here. But for now, I'm doing good. And anyway, I will uh, see you later. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up on that video. Smash that subscribe button too. And I will uh, send you some more Spanish videos here soon as I can be over here for about a month doing some work and some fun. And I'm going to definitely try as much jamón as possible and try to figure out how to get this stupid camera to focus better. Anyway, have a good one.